Katsushika Hokusai made the great big wave by making a print. He carved into a wooden block and then put ink on top and then placed his wooden block onto a piece of paper. We're going to make our own version of the great big wave print with things that we have at home. I'm using spaghetti here, as you can see on the right hand side. I've also laid out my paint on the top. I've got one darker shade of blue and I've mixed together two lighter shades of blue using white to make them lighter and I have some white paint as well. You then need to place your object into the paint and get your wave shape onto the piece of paper. So it goes up and around, curls in, and then goes down and around and kind of back up. You're going to experiment using the darker and lighter tones near the top of the wave, particularly in the splash area, there's gonna be a lot of white and lighter blue. Okay, I would use white right around the edge. Now, sometimes when I'm using my spaghetti, I slide it on. Sometimes I place it on and quickly lift it up. What this does is creates lots of different texture. Now, the great big wave would have been an extremely strong wave. So I feel it's quite appropriate to use lots of texture because it's not a calm sea. I've now decided to experiment with a different tool and I'm using a fork to add some vinyl prints and marks to my big wave. I'm choosing carefully where to use lighter tones. I'm even scraping it. Enjoy creating and remember to ask permission from your parents.